All right, so last video we did the unboxing of the Plenty Chips that I got in. Um, I've had it set up for the past two or three days. Been riding it. Have it set up with some brand new Dynamic Special Edition 32s with uh, Frenzy Lucy bushings on the top, um, standard Dynamic bushings on the bottom, and the pivot cups are still in. Um, I'm sure as these break in a little bit more, they'll start to get that wobble. Um, I also have some Frenzy board rails on here. I went with the board rails on because um, I like riding board rails. And I also have these lab raw wheels on there, which uh, are some pretty big wheels. So I went with this as kind of like a uh, transition bowl kind of look board. So the plies do go um, natural throughout, no colored plies. The uh, shape of this board is extremely fun with that tail being just kind of solid straight. There's definitely enough room uh, to get in your pocket or just flick straight off the end. Um, it's not shortened too much and the nose is full length, pretty long, kind of like a shove nose. Um, if you never tried Dynamic Special Editions, they're great trucks, they're my favorite, so I don't really have much more to say about that other than I, I really like them. It's what I tend to ride, um, or I prefer to ride. So the biggest thing for me was these wheels and just how big they are. The biggest thing to get used to. The closest thing I have to these wheels, I would say, is the Oak RV2Vs, but um, you can tell, you can tell that the um, lab wheels are bigger, especially when you're riding it. So the actual bearings in these wheels are super smooth, super quiet, but these wheels are extremely squeaky. I would say um, the material of these wheels feels probably almost identical to some Joy Corps. Um, but they just seem to screech more, even more than my Ill Pills. And I think it's because of the surface area is so wide in the contact patch. Even if you're riding and you like kind of pre set up for a tray flip and you like kind of lift the lift like your pressure off of your um, tail to like reposition and your board shifts a little bit, you'll hear the squeak. So definitely very loud wheels as far as that, but just riding completely flat, um, very, very smooth and quiet until you like power slide or anything like that. So super fun setup. Um, definitely not going to change this setup at all. Just going to keep it the way it is. And, uh, I'm definitely, in, I'm definitely in love. Definitely. I would say this is my second favorite board um, that I have set up. Um, only falling short to the dumb one. And I just think it's because, well, I love this shape and I love the mold. But I'm just so used to this. Um, with the uh, smaller wheels, the flat faces on there. Um, it just is super low to the ground. Uh, it, I mean, it's just a perfect shape. It's very hard to beat this. Um, so, but definitely, definitely digging this board. If you happen to pick up the plenty ships, uh, you won't be disappointed. Um, if anything, you'll probably be disappointed at how long it takes to get to you. But super solid deck. Um, and these wheels. If you can't find them off the site and you have to pay resale, I don't know. I'd rather just get some Oak RV2Vs, to be completely honest with you. It's kind of like that Joy Colt thing. Um, if you really want them, by all means, get them. But 
I don't really think they were worth what I paid for these. So, um, yeah, I mean, I got them now, so I'm going to ride them, but uh, I would definitely buy a brand new set off the site, but resale prices, nah, nah, but hey, that's just my opinion.